Ready? Yeah. I'm Jonathan Powell. And uh, I'm an independent filmmaker in the Jersey Shore. I've been filmmaking for about four years. I'm 16 years old right now. I started liking film when I was about five years old, six years old, when I uh, first saw Jurassic Park by uh, Steven Spielberg. And uh, from the moment I saw the special effects on that movie, I was like, wow, this is, this is something I could do. This is something I need to get into. This is something that not only can you express yourself in, but you can make money off of this. Like, people get paid to do this. Are you working on any films right now? Yes. I'm actually working on my feature film. It's called Suspicion. Uh, it's about 72 pages. I started writing it in, I'd say, February 2008. I finished it in August 2008, and then I'd been revising it, and I finally finished. I have a final draft right now, and I'm breaking it down to uh, film it this summer, summer 2009. What do you do while making the film? Like, what do you take into account considering the current market that there is for films? Uh, well, in film, it's very difficult to say, like, what individual field is really important because all of them are really, you have to collaborate perfectly with uh, the director of photography, the director, and, um, and the DP, he's the head of the lighting department, and then you have to make sure that the DP makes sure that the lights are all correct and the director tells the DP what he wants and then the director tells the production designer what he wants and the production designer. All these people are trying to get what the director wants on screen. It's the director's vision. It's these people's jobs to make it come true. And as the director, you have to take into account every single little thing. You can't just take into account oh, well, I want them to act this specific way. You have to take into account the dresser that the, uh, the particular character is going to have or the computer that the character is going to work on or, like, why they live in that specific area rather than this area. Like, is it their financial situation? Or, like, would this look better as a dolly shot or would this look better as just a plain tripod shot just set in one place? I'm like, should this be wide or should this be tight, you know? Okay. Being such a small production, no, like no offense. No, no, not take okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Being such like a small production and like you have to hit a market where there's much bigger budget films going into these independent circuits and do you feel any sort of like intimidation by these other projects or do you? <gasps> of course, <laughs> of course I do. You see... My dad, uh, he worked in marketing, so I kind of know a little more about marketing than a lot of these other people that, like, they don't really have a budget. and So, like, that kind of gives me a little more of an advantage. So, like, I know how to put together a website. I know how to put together viral videos on YouTube, which a lot of these people should know. Um, I also know how to promote the film on other websites such as MySpace, Facebook, uh, people's blogs get people to blog about it, get people on YouTube to talk about it, get it linked on YouTube somehow, uh, get it advertised on other websites, uh, build a website for the actual film and or production company. Um, what else? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, like, what was the question? <laughs> well, do you feel any sort of, like, intimidation by these other bigger films? Yeah. Yeah, most definitely, because I'm going into this film that I literally have, like, no money. I'm, li literally, my parents are paying for the food day to day, and, like, my grandma is cooking the food for the crew, and I literally have a crew of only, like, 12 to 16 people, and we're divided into day and night crew. So, like, there might be six people during the day, and there might be eight people, people during the night, but like it's all different schedules and it's all revolving around them because we don't have money to pay them we have to work around their schedule so that's a little more difficult and then also the fact that they have more money that they could hire PRs public rep public relations reps and uh, 
and they could hire like all these promotional people that like they're they know what they're doing they went to college for this they learned this and they've gone through all that like even if you're a student and you have the money and you give them the money for that like you don't have to worry about that you just have to tell them what you want and they'll do it you don't have to do it yourself and it takes a lot more time and effort on the director's part and on anyone that's really passionate about the film to promote it because it's going to take a lot of time to promote. Um, you mentioned YouTube a lot in the whole um, marketing aspect of yeah. it. Yeah. So do you feel that YouTube's one of the biggest places to do your marketing and it's, uh, it's kind of surpassing like, you know, good old handing out flyers to go see the movie? Oh, uh, well, I'd say, I'd say, yeah, like, of course, like, there's a lot of different ways.